Hey everybody, Mike Corrado here. Another Grateful Dead guitar lesson. Uh, I got a request for New Speedway Boogie. All right, here we go. New Speedway Boogie is basically just built around an E chord. Uh, you can make it an E7. You take your regular old E chord, take off your ring finger, which we're gonna call finger three, finger one, two, and three. Take off that and you'll get a little bit of a bluesier sound called an E7. Now if I strum that a little bit and then put that third finger back down where it normally goes, that ring finger back down, string four, um, fret two, it's gonna sound like this. Here's the E7 without the finger. Here's it back. Now I tell my students, like really try to attack the those middle strings where you're hearing the, the, the actual melody change. So the the fourth string is going to be going from fret two to fret zero back there. So that's just a basic E, E7 thing. Uh, you can actually add a higher octave E7 by put your pinky on the second string third fret, which is cool. I kind of start the song that way. I'll be like. Now I take the pinky off, I really express that high first string, you know, to hear that, that extra high note. So. But both E sevens and all that. So um so be sitting here like Please don't dominate the rap jack if you got nothing new to say. There's the seven. Here's the low set. So just mess around with all that. You're kinda of coming with your own groove. Um But eventually uh on the chord change you're looking at three other cowboy chords, open chords. You got the G, D to the A. I'll do that again. G, D, A. So it's like, um, so it's kind of like, uh, I heard some say better run away, but I stay, better stand still. So you got, as soon as you hear the chord change, it's just a G, Actually holds the A. Back to E. One way or another. One way or another. That kind of style. Another cool thing is like you can put accents in, like when they say uh Spend a little time on the mountain. Uh, it's pretty cool. I go to the Jimi Hendrix chord, which is an E7. Uh, basically looking at um, your middle fingers on string five, fret seven. You pull back looking like an open D chord, but you're on strings five, four, and three. Throw that pinky higher a fret, you know, up to fret eight on string two, and you get this cool looking chord. It's called the Hendrix chord because of, you know, purple haze. That kind of funky sound. But I like to throw it out. If you don't put the pinky in, you just play these three notes. You have an E7, which we were talking about all the way over here. E7, E7. But putting the pinky in there is kind of a cool little sound. I'll go like, spend a little time on the mountain. Spend a little time on the hill. That kind of sound. Um, you know, your melodies in there where you're like, you know. All that kind of stuff. You're working around E blues, open E blues. Oh, three, oh, two, oh, two, oh, two, oh, three, oh, three. Extensions up to five. Five, three, five, three, four. Creep back to two. Oh, two, oh, two, oh, three, oh. Use all that. So you'd be like, E7. Hendrix. High E. That's all that 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15, bam. So they. E major, specific, more specifically a seven, E blues stuff. That, is, that fulfills the request for new Speedway Boogie. Uh, the only thing to really think about is that G, D, and A, you know, but listen for it. Uh, thanks again. Check out my other videos. And if you're interested in private lessons, email me, mike at mikecarradomusic.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.